Hey guys, this is Kim from My Feather Nest. Welcome back to my channel. So, have I got a treat for you today? <laughs> um, obviously, you could tell by the title, and sitting right behind me is my big, beautiful, gorgeous autumn tree that I put together. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I already posted this tree there probably, I don't know, at least a week ago. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you do because I tend to kind of put things on there a lot quicker than I'm able to film a video and stuff like that for YouTube. Um, so I'll make sure that I link my Instagram account in the description box. So like I said, follow me over there. I'm kind of small over there. I'm trying to grow it so your support is greatly appreciated. But um, anyway, so I get to show you my fall tree today. It is a probably a hot mess of a video. Um, I do not do a whole lot of wonderful DIYs here on my channel. I do some, but you have got to uh, kind of understand my personality and the way that I create before you watch one of my DIYs. <laughs> because a lot of times I will put something together and it's just, I'm just kind of creating as I go. And that's typically how I work when it comes to decorating. Um, but I also know that you can probably gain some kind of inspiration when you watch me put something like this together. And, and that's what I hope it does. That is the whole goal um, in showing you step by step my process, just to give you some inspiration. Also to let you know in this particular case, that if you start to create something and you're not crazy about the way that it is turning, turning out, you gotta restart the whole entire thing. And that's okay, right? It's not a mistake, it just means that you, um, you just change your mind. I mean, you don't really know how things are gonna look until you actually have it all put together. So that's what happened with this tree. I actually started this whole process out and I did not think I was gonna add a whole lot of, a, a whole lot of orange. I knew that I was gonna add some orange to this tree, but I thought blue was gonna be my main focus. And as you can see in the background, blue is not the main focus in this tree. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I love orange. I love fall colors. I love to decorate for fall. I love the warm, cozy feeling that it gives me when I see it. And you guys, I have got this tree done and I have just been standing in my dining room just staring at it because it just gives me such a great feeling. <laughs> so if you love fall, if you love fall decorating, and if you are interested in how my process in putting this fall tree together, then stay tuned because I'm going to walk you through the hot mess of a system, system that I used. <laughs> okay, so here is the tree completely bare. It's a pre-lit tree that I purchased from Cracker Barrel a couple years ago on clearance. That point in Erica's. That's but, Saturday night though, right? Hold yeah, on. about six. I mean, I, I just okay, so here is the grapevine um, bundle that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I used my 40% coupon because I don't think this stuff ever goes on sale. And I was going to soak it to make it easier to work with, but once I started pulling it apart, I realized that it came apart just like I needed it to. You can see it's this big old thing. So this is what I'm going to start out by placing on the tree. This stuff is a pain to work with. To work with when you're trying to mold it into the shape you want it to go in so I do highly suggest soaking this stuff um, do a you do a do a Google Google like kind of what to do um, I was supposed to like when I originally thought I was gonna soak it it was saying something about maybe just placing it in a bathtub of warm water overnight and then picking it up out of the water shaking the excess off and it makes it more pliable I would highly, highly suggest doing that before you work with this grapevine, especially when you're trying to man manipulate it on a tree like this, because that is a pain. I had to literally use some muscles there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm bring you guys closer, and I'm just going to kind of show you. I'm just going to kind of start separating it, if you will. 
Now I'm just gonna start kind of pulling it apart, like wherever I have it. And it's, it's obviously, it's not gonna look super pretty now, but once we get everything else on there, that's when it'll make more sense. There we go. I just kind of it's on there. It looks crazy You see how it just kind of separated and it's just kind of going all over the place I do need some more down in here. I see some kind of more bare spots and maybe up in there so I may try and locate Some more branches to kind of um, just like individually kind of place in there to for those bare spots but that's what we've got going on for this step. So I picked up this um, ribbon. It is 30 feet of this, this burlap ribbon. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I think, I think um, this was just with their regular everyday ribbon. It wasn't like fall ribbon or anything like that. And um, I've, all the ribbon was 50% off. So that stuff does go on sale. So five bucks after the sale for 30 feet of this stuff. So this is what I'm going to start with next. This is one of those things where there's several different ways that you can do this. Some people just like to cut these in strips and make like loops and then shove the loops into the tree. I've done that before, I'm not real crazy about the way it looks. So I think this time I'm just gonna kind of start at the top and kind of do like a zigzaggy pattern and I'll just use my branches um, at the little creases or whatever, if you will. Just, you'll see. Hmm. So I got to the bottom of the tree with that kind of thing. I think I'm going to cut it and I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of fill in some other areas that I want ribbon. So let me do that now. Add um, enough, I used the whole entire spool of ribbon and I am never really crazy about the way ribbon looks until I start getting everything else done. <laughs> So I'll look back at it, I'll be like, oh, I don't like that at all. Like, it looks weird. But once you start getting everything else on, it just kind of all comes together. So don't be nervous. After each step, it may not look super beautiful yet, but you'll see as you continue to add your layers that everything kind of works together. And I just, um, I, was able, I was able to put another ribbon on this side and it went all the way to the ground and then over here my ribbon was a little short um so i don't have any down in this corner but i'm not going to really worry about it it is kind of it is what it is i wanted to show you how i picked up um this mossy looking ribbon from hobby lobby um let's see it was 7.99 and i got it of course 50 percent off but I did add that to the tree, and what I did was I just, let me walk over here and show you. I just actually, it just, I kind of made it a part of the burlap ribbon, so you can see there. And it doesn't, sh it's not a super showy thing, but I thought it would look kind of cool as just one more element when you're kind of up close and looking at the tree. So like I said, I just followed the burlap ribbon, but I kind of went beside it. And then I switch sides each time too. So like over here, I've got it to the right of the burlap. And then this next section, I kind of have it to the left of the burlap. So it was just, it's just one more thing to add a little bit of a natural um, element, I guess, if you will. I wanted to add some green to the tree. And so that's all I've got done so far. Okay, so the next thing I did was I wanted to add... Um, I have these little floral picks. They kind of come in a bunch. Let me just show you. They just come in a bunch, as you can see, like this. This is just one floral pick. I picked up these at Hobby Lobby, and they just have these small little blue flowers on the end. Um, and they're very twiggy looking. Anyway, I already had these. I used to use them in my living room, but I wasn't using them. So I thought that they would look really good in here to bring out some more blue on the autumn tree. 
And so I only have three of them. So let me place this one back in. So because I only have three of them, I have one there, bottom right, a little bit um, above that, and then to the left, one right there, and then above that to the right again, I've got this one. And I just kind of, you just kind of like very easy to place, place in. I kind of spread them apart a little bit and let them stick out. Um, and I have them tucked decently just into the tree. And I really am liking the way that that, that looks. And so I think I'm going to go back to Hobby Lobby and see if I can pick up maybe two more of them. If they're, you know, when, of course, their floral picks are on sale. I don't remember the price of them. I will let you know if I'm able to pick up more of them. But I'm pretty sure this is something that Hobby Lobby has all the time. Waiting on ribbon. And so I'm not going to be able to finish this tree today. But I'm trying to kind of put up as much as I can. Um, but... Um, so I thought I was going to be done after the steps that I've showed you and the layers that I've showed you, but I realized um, I can go ahead and start working on the topper of the tree. Obviously, this is going to be a, a, a different type of an autumn tree. One of my main colors is going to be blue just because that ties in with the whole dining room, um, but I am going to be using oranges and creams and you know um, browns and, and greens and so more of those earthy tones as well. Um, because I do not want to change out the floral that the other florals that I have going on in the room because they tend to, if you, if you haven't watched my dining room tour, um, I have earthy tones in here as far as the florals go. And so I don't want to change all that out just yet. So um, here's what I picked up so far for this. I picked up these really cool um, natural looking twiggy ball picks. This was from Hobby Lobby, of course, in their naturals, naturals like um, section. And then I picked up some wheat. And then I picked up these really cool picks. I picked up two of them. And these were from Hobby Lobby, um, $6.99. These were a part of, of course, their fall stuff, so it was 40% off. And you can see that the color of these is more of like a lightish grayish blue. Um, so this is going to be the lighter of the blue hues that I use on the tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting all of these things up here at the top. I may try to purchase more of these picks, by the way, too, because um, I think it would look really cool if I just kind of shoved them into different parts of the tree as well. I'm hoping that they still have them and that they haven't sold out already. Um, so I'm going to be looking for them. But let's go ahead and let's do the top. One, two, three, this one's going to have to be adjusted to stick out more. And of course, I use them in, you know, threes, and so I want them kind of different levels. Now I'm going to work with this wheat and just kind of kind of separate it some. And I'm not sure, I may take some of this. I'd probably take some of this and place it throughout the tree as well. I'll let you know if I do. So I'm just gonna take like half of the bunch right now and use it up here on the top. And I'm just gonna take little handfuls and just kinda shove them down in however they kinda fall. Just kind of let them work themselves naturally. I'm going to kind of go lower as well. I'm going to just place a bunches just kind of randomly, probably about where maybe I have the blue, other blue flowers. Kind of shove them, mix them in there as well. So there you have it. There is the top. I can see that so far. There's the, the balls and the wheat just kind of coming out, kind of fanning across the top. And then you can see I've got some lower. And I've got, like I said, I'm going to get pick up a couple more of those um, blue floral picks and I want to put one right here and probably
right in here, but um, I've got the wheat in there, kind of wherever the floral picks are, and I'm liking the way everything's turned out. It's pretty crazy looking, but I think it's gonna really come together. It's gonna be really cute when it's all said and done. Okay, I went ahead and um, placed those two bluish grayish floral picks on the top as well. And because I only have two of them, I placed them more towards the front and just on both sides. I went to Hobby Lobby and I purchased a couple more of these um, little twiggy things with the little blue flowers. I think I got three more of those or two more. Two more, I think. So there's five total on there. Um, and I did pick up what was left of these pumpkin-y, cute little pumpkin floral picks. Um, and I picked up all that they had. So they only had three more. So if this is something that you're interested in, I suggest getting it pretty quickly if you need that color. They did have them in cream, I think a burgundy color, and maybe an orange. Super cute though. So I've placed all of my, you know, different things that are sticking out. Um, let me show you something else that I'm going to be putting on next. Use some of the Christmas ornaments and stuff like that for your fall decorating tree or your autumn tree. Did pick up these. Um, they all the Christmas stuff is not on sale yet, so these are $14.99, but I used my 40% off coupon. They're really big and they are the darker of the blue colors that I'm wanting to incorporate in this tree. These are shatter proof too, which is really nice. I wish all of them were the sparkly, but it came with a sparkly, uh, like a matte, and then like a shiny as well. So I am just going to take these and kind of plug in some holes, if you will. Um, I still don't have my ribbon, so I'm waiting on that. Um, and I'm, I just, I hope I don't have to move stuff around. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to show you something else. I'll show you, let me, let me go ahead and put the camera up. Those feather things, I bought three of those feather picks and I shoved them in the top of the tree as a part of the tree topper. I just thought it was really fun and added another, you know, just another element, something eye-pleasing, something more interesting to look at. And they were on, they were 50% off with all the floral picks and I think they were like maybe like $3 after a sale. And I moved, you guys remember I had two of those blue pumpkin picks up on the very top. I did not like that, so I moved them. So this is what everything is looking like up close now. And it's hard to get a big, huge overview here because my table is right here. So I don't have a lot of room to work with. All right, guys, you guys are gonna have to forgive me because I have jumped ahead several steps without recording because my battery died and then I kind of forgot I was like getting all into it. So let me go through and kind of show you an overview of what I have going on right now. And if you have any questions about a particular step that maybe I forgot to show, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, anyway, I'm not sure where I left off that, but I do have a pack of these big, three big blue bulbs that I purchased from Hobby Lobby this year. So I placed them and because I've only got three, I kind of, they're kind of in a line right now, but I am definitely going to go back to Hobby Lobby and probably get at least one more pack. But I've got one here towards the top of the tree, kind of in the middle and then one at the lower. And usually what I do with the bigger bulbs and especially with the type of tree shape that this is, is I kind of shove them kind of towards the back. Um, so it gives me more room to put smaller items towards the front of the tree. Um, another thing that I did was I have a couple of these deer heads. Um, they're kind of like a, a goldish silverish color. So I placed one here and because I only have three of them, I placed them all at the front of the tree. So I've got one here, one here, and then one lower. Um, this guy needs fixed. Anyway, um, I also, let's see, I'm not sure where I stopped, but I, I did was I picked up some of these. I'm not sure if I told you this or not, but I picked up some of these wisteria branches in kind of like more of a brown color from Hobby Lobby. I've got, um, let's see, one, two, I've got five of them as well. I like to do things in odd numbers. And so same way that I did the um, pumpkin picks is actually exactly how I did the wisteria picks. I just kind of do them almost like in a zigzag. Um, and so that's what we have going on. Oh, 
I picked up, I'm sure everybody has these now. Um, I'd like to get more, but they're kind of hard to, uh, hard to come by. These velvety pumpkins that they were selling at the Dollar Tree this year, I bought as many as I could find. I'm looking for some more, in particular the orange ones. I'm, but anyway, I've got one, let's see, an orange one, and I've got a brown one, and I'm just kind of sitting them on there. So if you shook my tree really hard or came bouncing through here, I'm sure some of these things would fall off. So if you're gonna be placing your tree in an area where people walk by it quite often, I would try to secure them a little bit more than I have mine, but because mine is in the corner of my dining room and not everybody like walks over here, I'm safe. So anyway, I've got an orange one and then a darker brown one. I've got the lighter brown. Um, and I think I've got another lighter orange one down, the orange down here. I've got a brown one over there. Um, another thing is I have these brown furry bulbs. I've had them for a while. I used them on at different Christmas trees throughout the years. They came from Hobby Lobby and I thought it would be appropriate in here because I'm bringing some of those, more of those earth tones in here with my fall tree. So I've got those kind of placed all around and also these darker brown um, glass bulbs that I actually popped two picked up two packs at a thrift store I knew that they would be a perfect color for a fall tree so that is how everything is kind of looking right now um oh something I just started adding to was this tree I was looking at it and although I'm liking the way things are coming along I'm finding that I'm putting too many blues and browns in it and I'm not tying any kind of orange into it. And I absolutely love the color orange. I think it's such a beautiful fall color. It's so warm, it's so inviting. And I know sometimes people omit orange from some of their fall decor and keep it more neutral and that's fine. And I thought maybe I was wanting to go there, but when it was all said and done, I just couldn't help it. I had to add some orange. So how I'm gonna be adding orange is I'm just using some leaf garland. Um, so I happen to have this one, and then I've got this, and I've got a black, I'm, I'm thinking I may have some more out in the storage. If not, I'm going to pick up a couple more garlands of leaves, and I'm going to just kind of tie them in. Um, and so I think that'll look really pretty. So I'm getting really close to being done. Um, I do have this pumpkin right here, which I'm debating on leaving or not. It depends if I can find some more pumpkins that are kind of similar in style to place around. So I'm sorry, like I said, that I didn't um, walk you through every single step because I just got all into it and forgot to record. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw where I was. I showed the ribbon that I purchased um, for the tree. I finally got it in. So let me show you the big bow that I made. Isn't that so pretty? So this ribbon, the orange and blue came and this right here, with the cute little wheelbarrows full of pumpkins. Those both came from Craft Outlet. And then this dark denim ribbon and this lighter blue ribbon came from Hobby Lobby. They're all um, wire rimmed or wire edged ribbon. And so I made a 16 loop funky bow using Miss Arlen from Arlen's Country Craft Corner. She has got a superb bow tutorial on her channel as well as she has some cheat sheets that you guys can print out so I will definitely make sure that I link her channel in my description box if you are not already following her because I absolutely love her she is super sweet so anyway I'm gonna go ahead um I actually took down I, I hate to say this but I'm kind of um de like uh the uh deconstructing some of the tree because I'm like wasn't really happy with the way it was going <laughs> So it's hard to tell. You guys are going to see. This is why I don't do a lot of DIY videos because my method is just not sane. I swear it's not. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the top, very top of the tree. I ended up using just, you can't see it probably on film, but just some floral, like that wire, the wire stuff or whatever. I didn't use a pipe cleaner because this is longer. So I'm going to use this to attach kind of up here towards the top, not at the very top, but I'm thinking right here below the, the bulk of my um, oversprays here. So, so that's pretty cute. Let me get a close up of that so you can. So um, you can see there's that big, huge bow. And I think what I'm gonna do is give the bow some tails. So I'll probably be moving some of these pumpkins and putting some tails down. And I'm debating whether or not I'm going to use some of the ribbon like in different in different sections of the tree. 
So I'm going to be tweaking some things a little bit right now and I will get back with you on my next step. Okay guys, I totally have deconstructed this tree, literally. <laughs> so I took all of the pumpkins off, I took the deer head, I took all of that off because I was like, let me get these leaves on. So I did stop back by Hobby Lobby and I picked up some leaf garland Anyway, it's this um, six feet of fall leaves. It's $9.99. Of course, you know that Hobby Lobby's fall stuff is 40% off now. So what was that? Six bucks. So I picked up three of them. I thought I picked up four, but I didn't. So um, I wanted to put that on. So that is what I did. So let me show you what's going on now. And um, I had that little piece at the top. That was just an extra piece. I took the bow off because I'm not feeling the bow on there. It's just got lost on this tree. It just didn't look right. So I'm probably just gonna use the bow as like a lantern topper or something like that. It just didn't look right. So um, this is what we have going on at the top. And I threw some leaves and then I threw the leaf garland on here. So you can see all of that. Now um, this garland, unfortunately at the bottom is totally different because like I said, I thought I picked up four. I didn't, I only had three. I may have to go back and get one more just to match. So I just kind of put that on for now. Um, but anyway, so I've left the wisteria, the brown wisteria, all the different poking out like the pumpkins and the wheat and the blue um, flowers. I've left all, that, let all of that alone. But I just, like I said, I was not feeling um, everything else. So I've kind of Re redacted here so now I'm just kind of tweaking some more and um, I'm gonna start adding I think some of the different elements um, so I'm probably gonna put these balls in because now that I've added that leaf which I absolutely love the way that looks it just makes it look like a really good fall tree it's a lot of orange on there and so I need to get some more blue on there I also wanted to show you these couple of things that I also picked up these are so cute, just as accents. Look how cute this owl is, you guys. And it's really big, it's bigger than my hand. This was $14.99 with 40% off because their Christmas stuff at Hobby Lobby is 40% off now. So the cute little owl, so I thought I would kind of eventually, maybe over time, collect some more of these cute little owl ornaments to place on the autumn tree. And look at this one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I like, I feel like I should go back and get a couple more of these because they're like bulbs, but they're so cute. I love these. Anyway, so I picked up two of them and this, and I'm sorry, two ornaments. This um, bulb owl was $9.99 with 40% off. So I'm going to go ahead and work on placing these two pieces as well as the bigger blue bulbs again because <laughs> this happens. With decor are you guys like this do y'all start something and then feel like you're not liking the way it's going well i suggest redoing it because if not you'll never be happy so i'm going to tweak some more add those things and i'll come back to you okay guys let me go ahead and do some close-up video clips because i just put everything back together and added a bunch more stuff and just didn't video clip each and everything so i'm just going to show you so I wanted, after I got it all said and done, I realized that orange had overtaken. So <laughs> the blue, the whole idea I had with originally just making blue like the main color, it diminished. But that's okay because I've still added blue and I think it looks really cute. But orange is where it's at. <laughs> but that's okay because orange is one of my accent colors in this room anyway. And I love orange so... Um, I wanted to add, I found these sunflowers out in the barn and so I added some yellow and red sunflowers throughout the tree. Let's see, um, okay. I added, so I think I originally tried to, I have a three piece, this, I picked this up at Target at the dollar spot I think last year. Um, and it, anyway, it was this little barn, and then there's two other pieces you'll see in just a second. I had them on the tree, didn't like them, so I took them off. But then when I got all this stuff on here, I just went ahead and put them on there too. And I think it's just one more fun little element. You may not see the tree, you may not see it right when you first look at the tree, but when you get up on top of the tree and you start checking everything out, it just adds so much interest because you'll just see little nooks and crannies of where I have placed 
just different little unique pieces and who knows I may add more <laughs> um, like there's one there's another one right there um, another thing that I added I've picked these guys up right here these are from the Dollar Tree um, they're just like metal almost like a yard stake, but you got I'm sure you guys have seen them um, They're not very big Hobby Lobby has them as well, but they are of course way more expensive So I was happy to find them at Dollar Tree didn't think I was gonna be using on this tree But I decided to go ahead and add them and I just think it's just one more fun little element Let's see what else did I do? Everything else I think you've kind of seen, it's just that when I tweaked it, I just moved things around more. There's another, that other third little barn element, or building I should say. And like I said guys, I am probably not the best one to do any kind of a DIY, and that's not really what this video really is. It's just kind of like a decorate my autumn tree with me, you can see how I went about doing it. You can see that there is probably not much of a method to my madness. It's just, you gotta get in there and you just gotta do. And if you don't like it, take it apart and then redo it again. And I, when I say that, I mean, I know that sounds like a lot of work, but really it wasn't because I had the hardest part probably, of course, putting a tree together. And then on top of that, it was adding the, um, Grapevine, grapevine, which I didn't redo that, and adding this like burlap ribbon and stuff like that. I didn't have to redo any of that. I like the way I had that. It was just adding, taking down some of the other pieces that I had that was easy to take down and it was also easy to put back up. But the tree is really full now, which is exactly how I like it. I love a tree to be extremely full to where you really can't see much of it. the tree. I'm okay with that. You see a little bit of it and it gives you, really the tree is just really your base. It's your, it's just the form that you're able to take on. So there it is in all its glory. And so I'm going to be doing a um, tour, of course, a, hopefully a fall, a complete fall home tour, but I will definitely be doing a dining room fall tour, hopefully really soon when I add some more little pieces um, into the dining room and so, you guys will have to see how I ended up styling the bottom. I'll show you what I've got going on right now. I will probably tweak this a hundred more times. <laughs> but remember the bow that I made? Well, it was too big for the tree, or I'm sorry, too small for the tree. It just didn't look right. So I went ahead and just added it on top of this lantern. Now the bow is actually too big for the lantern, <laughs> but it's such a pretty bow and I love the ribbon. And so I want to be able to use it. So for right now, that's what's going on. Um, let's see. You can see that my, um, I don't have a tree skirt. I'm just using that tree collar. It's the galvanized tree collar that I picked up, I believe from Walmart either last year or the year before. I know Hobby Lobby and places like that sell stuff like that. I actually thought about getting the wicker basket tree, um, collar that Hobby Lobby has for underneath this tree, but I have this one. So why not use what you have? And the little bale of hay I picked up, or I'm sorry, bale of straw or whatever, bale of hay, straw, whatever it is, came from Walmart. And then I just have that cute little galvanized house that I picked up from Walmart last year. Got a couple little pumpkins sitting around. Like I said, I'm gonna tweak this. I'm not overly crazy about it, but I just kind of put it all together to show you guys. Um, I'm, you know, and it gives me a good start. So, let me go through one more time. Sorry about the lighting been having issues with this this whole video I think I'm gonna take some pictures with my um, good camera and I will add them in so maybe you get some better um, shots of the tree itself so there it is thanks so much for watching thanks for decorating my fall tree with me hope you guys have enjoyed it hope you have been inspired in some way to decorate your own fall tree and start decorating for fall. You guys, um, I live in South Carolina. It's typically, it has been like an oven out lately, but for some odd reason, <laughs> God must have known that I was finishing up this fall tree today because the weather is superb. It's only, it's like in the low seventies, it's breezy. And so I'm gonna get outside and I'm going to enjoy what, while I can before, you know, our dog days of summer come back again. Um, anyway, so, 
If you love this video, if you like it, if you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, become a part of my YouTube family, and be on the lookout for my other fall decorating series and my fall house tour and the fall dining room tour and all that good fall yumminess. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!